Today I'm out in the field because I'm going to do a complete review on the Milwaukee M18 pole saw. This is a new arrival for me. It's one I bought personally because we had an ice storm here a couple of weeks ago and it decimated a bunch of the trees we have on our property. So I figured what better time to put a brand new tool to the test, give it some real world experience and give you an actual firsthand rundown of not only what it's like out of the box, but also what it's like to use over time. I'm also going to test the battery capacity to see just how much work a fully charged M18 8 amp hour battery can handle. Here's the saw. The 10 inch bar has a guard on it. When we remove that, it exposes the chain. You have your bar and chain oil reservoir. It has one section, a middle extension section to get the whole pole up to 10 feet and then shoulder strap d handle and your control module you put the battery houses the motor and your trigger it has a speed control to go from rabbit to turtle <laughs> always keep it on rabbit there really is not a reason to run this on a lower speed unless you have a specific need keep it on the fast setting for most all your cutting. Has a three year warranty on the eight amp hour battery and a three year warranty on the entire assembly that I just showed you. We're gonna start cutting this oak tree back here. There's a lot of limbs that fell. I'm gonna have to do some pruning up top where it left some of the limbs uh, torn, but mostly intact. So we're gonna prune that back, cut the stuff that's on the ground. We'll do a battery check after that. And then we'll continue because we've got a ton of stuff on the rest of the property that also has to be cleared. For PPE, I'm wearing a hard hat because I'm working overhead, safety glasses, gloves, I've got boots on, and I'm wearing underpants just for the occasion. Here's my first impressions. I love it. The best thing you can feel when you're using a chainsaw is when you engage your workpiece with the chain that the saw pulls itself right through the wood. That's exactly what this guy does. Never got bogged down even when I was working overhead on that big limb when I first started. And it took care of everything else that I cut on the ground like a champ. 
it's uh, nice and quiet, so I don't need hearing protection because you're not running that gas motor all the time. And the controls are very easy to use, very intuitive. They're right where your hand wants to be, so you're not fumbling around for the safety or the trigger. And for battery use, uh, all the stuff they just cut just used, I don't know if you can see that, just one light. So it had, there you go. So it only used uh, one of the four lights, so 25% of available power was put to cutting up all that, all that oak. I love it. I'm, uh, I'm happy I got this because it's going to make this kind of work much, much easier. It's great to have a pole saw because you don't have to get real close to your workpiece. It gives you a degree of safety because you have some distance, but also a degree of convenience because if you had a regular chainsaw, you don't have to walk right up close to the work. So you don't have to cut away as many branches to, to get access to the things that you do want to cut primarily. So it makes it much easier to cut this stuff even when it is on the ground. And of course it makes overhead work that much easier because you're not lifting and reaching, introducing those danger elements into using a chainsaw. I will continue to use this on the rest of the cleanup. I'm going to get a burn pile going and get the stuff behind me uh, up in flames. And then we'll take it from there.
it's good for a man to take some time and sit around a fire. Meditate. It gives a man time to think and consider, to reconsider, to ponder. And in that contemplative state, you may change an opinion. You may double down on your opinions. It gives you a chance to reconsider perspective and to consider other people's perspectives. Do it with your friends. Do it with people you agree with. And do it with people you disagree with. Because around that fire, nobody fights. There's no urgency. Just that deep, relaxing, meditative contemplation that only an open flame can bring. An open flame brings an open mind. And it can be a very beautiful and profound experience. The one deep thought I'm left with today is someone should invent a men's fragrance that smells like a campfire. It won't attract all the ladies, but it will attract the right ones. It's a, it's a fantastic piece. I, I recommend it if you got any kind of work to do at your place or if you need it for you know landscaping work. This is commercial grade stuff, so it's ready to tackle the big jobs. In addition, it's nice because you can just keep it all charged up and tucked away for the next time you need it if you're a homeowner. So you don't have to keep gasoline. You don't have to worry about destabilized gasoline. You don't have to worry about tuning up a motor, carburetor, stuff getting gummed up. You don't have to winterize it. So there's a lot of advantages to owning battery-powered cordless tools, and this is just a, a, just a handful of them. And I, I don't know, I'm a big fan of the Milwaukee, Milwaukee line in general, as you know, because I've done a ton of videos on all kinds of their of all kinds of tools, especially their impacts. Their ratchets are fantastic, and they pretty much hit the mark with everything that they make. So until they can prove otherwise, I'm a big fan of Milwaukee. And if you're not, you might want to consider switching platforms. The hardest part of any cordless platform is the batteries because once you buy into a battery platform, it's expensive. But uh, if, you can, if you're looking to upgrade or you're looking to move over to a different line, absolutely look at Milwaukee. Their after sale service is second to none. Their warranty service is fantastic. It's very easy to get a claim going to them. And uh, you, know, you send something to them, they send it back either fixed or replaced. And they've been a dream to work with. I'm a big fan as a Milwaukee dealer because they help me help you have an easier time with their tools after the sale. So do me a favor, keep watching the channel because I got a ton of stuff coming down the line. I'm also going to do a review on the Milwaukee M18 8 inch hatchet chainsaw. Once I'm done cutting this stuff up, I have to buck a bunch of limbs that fell down already. So I'm going to put that to the test and see how well that performs. So do me a favor and click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.